name is Kate Boycourt, Director of Resilience at the Waterfront Alliance, a New York, New Jersey based nonprofit. So Waterfront Alliance is a, essentially an alliance of over a thousand civic, grassroots businesses uh, having some stake in the waterfront of New York and New Jersey. And we really focus on ensuring that we have a resilient and thriving region from working waterfront to access to the water to making sure our habitats are intact over time. So uh, we're really interested in making sure we have a thriving region for generations to come despite our challenges. So Waterfront Alliance has been working to build consensus amongst uh, businesses, civic groups, uh, elected officials, agencies, to really figure out what, what we need to do to adapt our, our governance, our policies, our funding structures, and our strategies to manage flooding and flood resilience uh, to, to climate change. And it's a huge challenge. There's obviously a lot of different carrots and sticks that we need to adjust to get us there. And so uh, building consensus, we need to be listening to grassroots, people that are really most affected by uh, climate change, as well as those that are um, studying and researching it at the sort of professional level. Um, so we've been working on that with over 400 individuals in New York and New Jersey, and we'll be coming out with a policy platform next year um, to promote those, those solutions. So there's a few different things that are happening, and there's a, there's a lot of work that has been done to adapt our region. We know that, for example, building and zoning codes are changing in light of sea level rise. Um, that's happening in New York, in Hoboken, and a number of other municipalities in New Jersey. Um, from the green infrastructure side, which is I know what we're here to talk about today, there's projects that are going into place. There's a, a new wetland restoration that's happening in Jamaica Bay that's going to reduce the risk of uh, folks that live near those resources and also benefit the environment. Um, in Woodbridge, New Jersey, there's floodplain restoration as well as a managed relocation program that's uh, really helping to get people out of harm's way and restore our floodplains. So there's a lot of work that's being done, uh, but few resources sources to really meet what we need for, for a long time. So in New York and New Jersey, uh, we were hit by a really, really damaging storm in 2012, Hurricane Sandy. And that actually resulted in the appropriation over $60 billion of uh, disaster response and recovery. Uh, we had extensive damage even beyond that, and some people are, are still recovering or not actually recovered. Uh, we knew that there was a need to design differently, to invest in our natural resources differently, and uh, so we worked on two things. One, uh, Waterfront Edge Design Guidelines, or WEDGE program, which is like lead for the waterfront and incorporates sea level rise and climate change, so we have better standards for guiding uh, how we construct and where we don't construct. Uh, but secondly, um, we really recognize that there you know, we're adapting to a new system. We don't have the government structures and policies in place to kind of manage this issue. And so uh, we need to make sure that we're really thinking about this comprehensively. So that kind of drove us to action. So the way that we define resilience, uh, we're really looking to ensure that we've got the strength to not only withstand disasters, but also change over time and, and not only bounce back, but strengthen and learn from those shocks. Uh, but we're also interested in adaptation over time. There are things that we will have to change in light of sea level rise.